Today we're at Australia's very first drug checking service. Uh, we have had festival sites before that tested drugs, but this is the first bricks and mortar site in Australia where people can bring in their drugs for testing um, and to receive health advice. So, at the moment, now, uh, services like this are often misunderstood as providing a, almost a green light for people to take drugs, when in fact what they are providing is a health service. So the types of information that people get at a service like this, uh, people are able to bring in a substance and have it tested, so the contents of that drug can be revealed to the person. So there is top testing technology here at, at the service. Um, secondly, there are also trained health professionals here that can provide people information about drugs. So often when people use drugs and they want to know more information about it, they want to know what's in the drug, but also how that drug might interact with other substances that they're on. Good quality health advice and where the dangers of those interactions can occur is novel. People often receive or look for this information on the web and whilst there are some uh, very um, well evidence-based sites on the web where you can get this kind of information, it, it can't be personalised. So we know that, for example, when the drug is not what people expect it to be and it, and it does contain something dangerous, people more often than not dispose of that drug. And that's you know, a really important um, part of services like this. This study is designed longitudinally where we hope that people will catch up with us after they've been to the service. So when they do go out um, and if they do choose to take drugs after they've been in this service, what do they take on board and what behavioural change do we see?